Hi students. Today we are discussing about differentials and approximations. Let we see hypothesis. Be a function of x. I am telling the concept in short, not in an elaborated way. Then, dx is same as delta x. The differential of x is dx, which is same as delta x. And the differential of y, that is dy, is equal to f dash x into delta x. That is, differential of x is same as delta x and differential of y is f dash x into the derivative of the function into dx, that is, differential of y. Now, let us discuss some examples. Use differential to approximate. First question is root of thirty six point six root of thirty six point six. Here we can easily take function from the question. If the question is in the form root of 36.6 then O is equal to when we take O as of x if it is 26 rise into 1 by 3 then we take O as x rise to 1 by 3 if it is 255 rise into 1 by 4 then take O is equal x raise to 1 by 4. Here we have to approximate root of 36.6. So if we take O is equal to root of x. This is equation number 1. Now O plus delta O is equal to root of x plus delta x where delta x be a small increment in x then delta v be the corresponding increment in y if we add x to the increment delta x we have to add the increment of y to increment of a is delta y to y which implies that x plus delta x is equal to root of y plus delta y. Now, let me take x as root of 36 and the delta x as 0 0.6. 36 plus 0.6 is 36.6. Therefore, x plus delta x, 36, so we take x as 36. 36 plus 0.6, root of that, which is equal to y is equal to root x. y is equal to root x, so is equal to root of 36 is equal to 6. So instead of we write 6 plus delta y. So 36 plus 0.6 is 36.6.
Marca 6.6 for top that, which is equal to x plus the dowry, which is equation number 2. Root of that is 6 .6 is equal to 6 plus delta v, which is equation number 2. Now, we are going to find the derivative of y. Differentiating 1 with respect to x. If we differentiate 1 with respect to x, we have dy by dx of z equal to root x is 1 by 2 root x now cross multiply dy is equal to 1 by 2 root of root x is root x is 6 so 2 into 6 into d dx the dx goes to the numerator now dy is the approximate value of dy is delta y and the approximate value of dx is same as the delta x. So, 1 by 2 and 4 into delta x. The value of delta x is 0 0.6. So, 1 by 2 and 4 into 0 0.6. Now, the reason by 2 and 4 into 0 0.6. Stay students can use calculator. Otherwise, this is 0 0.6 by 12 into 10 by 10. So, 6 are divided by 120. That is 1 by 20. This point uh, 0 0.05. Yes, yes. Now, applying into, therefore, root of 36.6 is equal to 6 plus 0 0.05 that is 6.05 approximately this is the approximate value of 36.6 isn't it Let me take another question similar to this. Root of 24. Find the approximate value of 424. Here, let me say equal root x. Y plus delta y is equal to root of x plus delta x. Therefore, root of x plus delta x is equal to y plus delta y. Now, let me take x is equal to the root of 25 is 5. In the question is a radical function, then we have to find the square number so x is equal to 25 and delta x is equal to minus 1. 25 plus minus 1 is 24. Root of x is root of 25, which is equal to 5. Therefore, here we can say that root of 25 plus minus 1 is equal to y is 5. 5 plus delta y. Therefore, root of 24 is equal to 5 plus delta y, which is equal to number. Now, differentiating 1 with respect to x. Here we have 5 into dx. 1 by 10 into 2 into 5 is 10 into delta x dx becomes delta x. 1 by 10 into what about delta x is minus 1. So here we have minus 1 by 10 that is minus 0 0.5. Now apply into 2 we have. Root of 24 is equal to 5 plus delta y is minus 0 0.1. So 5 of 0 0.1 we have 4.9 approximately.
approximately, this is the approximate value of root of 24, root of 24 is 4.90, isn't it? Another question is y is equal to uh, approximate, approximate value of 26 highest into 1 by 3. Find the approximate value of 26 high state 1 by 3. Here, in the, in the given question is 26 high state 1 by 3, then the function will be y is equal to x raised to 1 by 3. Let y is equal to x raised to 1 by 3, which is equation number 1. Here, y plus delta y is equal to x plus delta x the whole rise into 1 by 3 or x plus delta x the whole rise into 1 by 3 is equal to y plus delta y now we find the cube numbers 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube 4 cube 3 cube is 27 let me take x is equal to 27, 3 to is 27, and what about delta x is 27 minus 1 is 26, so delta x becomes minus 1. And one more thing, y is equal to x raised to 1 by 3, 27 raised to 1 by 3. 27 is 3 cube of the whole rise into 1 by 3, so we get 3. 3 and 3 get cancelled out, we see equal to 3. Here, x is equal to 27 plus delta x is minus 1, the whole rise into 1 by 3 is equal to 1, 1 y is equal to 3 plus delta y. So 26 raised to 2, therefore 26 raised to 1 by 3 is equal to 3 plus delta y, which is equal to number 2. Follow this. Now we have to differentiate y, differentiating 1 with respect to x. The ratio of y is dy by dx. x raised to 1 by 3 is in the form x raised to n and x raised to n minus 3 so 1 by 3 into x raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 that is 1 by 3 into x raised to cross multiplying 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 by 3 now cross multiplying dy is equal to 1 by 3 into x raised to 1 by 3 x is uh, x raised to x is 27 27 raised to minus 2 by 3 into the word dx this dx goes to numerator therefore delta y is equal to dy is approximately equal to delta y 1 by 3 into 3 cube of the whole raised to minus 2 by 3, 3, 3 get cancelled into delta x. So delta y is equal to delta y is equal to 1 by 3 into 3 raised to minus 2 into delta x is minus 1. That is 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 square is 9 into minus 1, minus 1 by 27. This is delta y. Now substituting into we have 26 raised to 1 by 3 is equal to that. 3 plus minus 1 by 27. 27 into 3. 81 minus 1 by 27. So 80 by 27. Approximately. The students can find 80 by 27 using the calculator. Okay. This much is necessary. Follow this.
Now let us discuss another question. Two fifty five by two. One by four. Here we get a function as x raised to two one by four. Here the first case two fifty five raised to two one by four. So we take the function as x raised to two one by four. Here we first delta is equal to x plus delta x the whole raised to two one by four. And uh, x plus delta x the whole raised to two one by four is y plus delta. Here since the function is x raised to two one by four, we find Fourth power number one raised to four one two raised to four is sixteen three raised to four is eighty one and four raised to four is two fifty six. So x is equal to two fifty six and delta x is again minus one. Here we have to find x y also. We is equal to x raised to one by four. So Basic x raised to one by four. That is two fifty six. The whole raised to one by four. Four raised to four. The whole raised to one by four, which is four. We get four. Four is equal to four. Therefore, we have two fifty five. So two fifty six plus minus one. The whole raised to one by four is equal to. So y is four plus delta y. Therefore, two fifty five. The question is two fifty five. The whole raised to one by four is four plus delta y, which is equal to number two. This way you can find the second equation. Now differentiating one with respect to x. Here x raised to four is one by four. X raised to one by four minus one. X raised to one by four into x raised to one by four minus one. In the last case, we have x raised to one by three. Here, x raised to one by four. Cross multiplying, we have one minus four minus three by four. Here, dy is equal to one by four into x is two fifty six. The whole raised it to three by four minus three by four into dx. And uh, one by four into two fifty six is four raised to four. Four raised to four, the whole raised to minus three by four. Here four and four get cancelled into delta x. Here it becomes delta x. Here it is delta y. Therefore, we find delta y. Therefore, delta y is equal to one by four into. Four raised to minus three into minus one. Four raised to minus three is one by four cube. That is one by four into one by four cube into minus one. That is minus one by two fifty six. That is delta y. Substitute the values. Value of delta y in two we have. Therefore, two fifty five. The whole raised to one by four is equal to four plus minus one by two fifty six. Here cross multiply two fifty six into four is thousand twenty four. Minus one divided by two fifty six that is thousand twenty three divided by two fifty six, which is approximately this is the approximate value of two fifty five raised to one by four. Next question is find approximate value of f of two points in a line. If the f of x is equal to four x square plus five x plus, here we have to find the approximate value of f of two points in a line. We know that. If we find x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus f dash x into delta x, we should write out this formula. If we find x plus delta x is equal to 
the four x plus of dash x in that x. Here x is equal to two and the entire x is equal to four is zero one. So therefore, the four two plus zero point zero one is equal to the four two plus the dash two into the entire x is zero point zero. Isn't it? Therefore, f of four to point zero one is equal to five f of two. Here, f of x is equal to x square plus five x plus two. Therefore, f of two is equal to Two square plus five into two plus two, so that is four plus ten plus two, that is sixteen. F of two is sixteen. Now find f dash x. F dash x is equal to two x plus five into one plus zero. Differentiating here, we have two x plus five, and therefore f dash two is equal to f dash two is two into two plus five that is nine. Substituting all values here, f of two is sixteen plus f dash two is nine into zero point zero one that is sixteen plus zero point zero nine therefore sixteen point zero nine. This is the approximate value of f of x. If the whole x is equal to 4x square plus 5x plus 2, the approximate value of the whole x is the whole the approximate value of 2.01 is 16.09, isn't it? Now another question is suppose 5.001 if the whole x sub is equal to x cube minus Seven x plus fifteen. We know that f of x plus the tax is equal to f of x plus the tax x into the tax. This is the formula. Therefore, f of five log plus zero point zero zero one. Five plus zero point zero zero one is five point zero zero one. Is equal to the whole four five log plus the dash five into zero point zero zero one. As in the last question, find the whole here the whole x is equal to the x cube minus seven x square. Plus fifteen. F of five is equal to one over one over five five cube minus seven into five square plus fifteen. So one twenty five minus twenty five into seven seventy five plus fifteen. That is equal to one forty minus one seventy five. That is minus thirty. F of five is minus f of five. Now find the dash x. Here the dash x of z equal to three x square x cube. The ratio of x cube is three x square minus seven into two x of plus zero. That is three x square minus fourteen x plus f dash x. Therefore, f dash five is equal to three into Five square minus fourteen into five. Five square is twenty-five into three is seventy-five minus fourteen into this is seventy. So we get five. Substituting here we have f of five is equal to minus thirty-five r plus. If dash five is five r into zero point zero zero one, that is minus thirty-five r plus zero point zero zero.
Isn't it? 